What's up guys, it's Grimdag here with another video for Grimdag Does Painting. Today we're going to be looking at how to paint ivory and bone effects on your models. Uh, it's quite a specific colour so getting it to look exactly right is quite difficult. The Unlike most of my painting videos, this one's only got one recipe for painting ivory though. I suppose if you changed up the first, first coat of paint that you put on, change the tone of that and you'll get a slightly different effect. But, as I said, because ivory is such a specific colour, it's hard to get much variance without ruining the look of everything. So let's get straight into it. First up, you're going to need your loyal reddish-brown uh, paint. For this I'm using dark flesh tone, but any of the Citadel colours will work quite well. Um, then you're going to need your ivory or bone colour. I'm using skeleton bone from Army Painter, but again, whatever. Then you're going to need your white, so we've got dead white from the game colour, and finally you're going to need your brown wash. Uh, this one I'm using the Vallejo brown wash. And so first thing first, uh, here's my um, subjects for the day. We're going to be painting these three classic Death Jesters. Pre-warning, because so much of these models are going to be in bone across across the whole thing, I'm going to paint paint the effects over the entire model and then I'll go back go back and pick out any other colours I don't want to be bone later on. So we're going to go over the entire model with your dark flesh tone. Doesn't matter if you've not got perfect coverage on this, um, although if you've undercoated it black I would recommend doing a couple of coats just so you you do get your dark flesh tone to, to show through as the reddish brown that it is. Next step, you're going to do a 50-50 mix of skeleton bone and dark flesh tone, which will give you sort of a weird peachy pink colour. Um, bear with me, it looks a bit weird at this stage, but it will work. Uh, you're going to go over the model trying to leave any of the really recessed shadows exactly as they are. As you can see, I'm, I'm primarily dry brushing um, the, the model at this stage, though I've not been very careful with making sure the paint's off the, the brush. Next stage, we are going to go solid, just pure skeleton bone. And do the same sort of thing. Again, getting a little bit more of the paint off the brush when you're dry brushing this time to, to get a slightly raised effect. Then you want your 50-50 skeleton bone dead, dead white. 
Again, more dry brushing. And then you are going to do a just a pure dead white um, coat on the top with a very very light dry brush. Now this will look like you've basically painted the thing white and you won't get as... It's not ivory at this point, it's white. So what you're going to do is, once that's all dry, you're going to give it a very, very light, you can see I dilute it quite a lot, um, coat of your brown wash over the, every area you want and bone effects. Again, let this dry before you apply a final coat of your white with a very, very, very light dry brush. Just picking out all of the areas that you that are are raised. And there you have it, that's pretty much it. You've got your painted up bone warrior all sorted now. Um, I'll try and apply some pictures of these when the, when the rest of the paint scheme's been finished at the end of this video. We'll see how that goes. Um, for now, happy modeling and have a good one.